in 2023, what does credible evidence of ET look like? Well, I think I don't I don't actually know um, for the simple reason that I don't know what an ET might look like, <laughs> which is also a really boring answer. But um, I mean, what I would want to see are observations, again, made with instruments that were calibrated for the purposes that they were being used for. Um, you know, multispectral observations of the same object, potentially, you know, made by multiple people, um, where we have data from sensors that matches eyewitness reports. And then after that, that's just the beginning, right? So that's, that's step one. And then after that, you go and you interrogate all of that and say, well, in the search for life beyond Earth, um, you know, life is the hypothesis of last resort. You have to systematically rule out everything else that something could possibly be before you look at that answer. And so, you know, what else could this possibly be? What we've seen, um, you know, even during even the meeting, um, we saw some videos that looked like they were showing objects behaving very, very weirdly. Hmm. But the explanations were, you know, this is just the way that the sensor was moving or yeah. this object looks like it's moving really quickly because the plane <laughs> that was looking at it is going 430 miles an hour. So, the, you know, the sensor is moving really quickly. Um, so can we rule out sensor artifacts? Can we rule out, like, what, what do we need to rule out before we can say, all right, like we have landed at a point where, you know, really life is a possibility. I wouldn't like to. Cool. 